Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna be playing Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode three, Hell is Empty. Um, from the last episode, we, well from the ending of the last episode, we're basically gonna be running away from someone, so we shall see what that's all about. Um, Rachel's hair, or, um, we confronted Rachel's dad about the whole uh, cheating thing and then it turns out the lady that he cheated on um, Rachel's mom with is her actual real mom so something had to have happened to where when she was younger her dad had taken her away from her mom maybe so I guess we'll see about that also so um yeah let's get into it I really liked the last episode I thought it was just the cutest thing with the whole um the Tempest play and yeah if you saw the video you saw that I almost cried so it's cute I'm a sucker for like sweet romantic stuff especially when it's like teenagers My headphones seem small. It's because I have a hat. I have bad hair right now. Because I just woke up. And I have to keep one headphone off because previously I'm getting life is strange a package, the storm. which is my new guitar. I felt I'm like my dad had been lying it. about something for a while. <laughs> I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! <laughs> Juliet is waylaid. That this part, infernal that was inferno is so the adorable. Culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. <laughs> In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? <clears throat> Chloe I'm right here Good 
I need you. Interesting. This is cool. in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends sarah was everyone's favorite every boy Elliot. wanted to date her i could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes i think that's what kept me blind for so long She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see until it was almost too late. She fell into drugs. That's why she's hanging out with Frank. She's a junkie. She kind of does look like Rachel, Sarah though. Sarah became pregnant. I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For oh, that's while. her mom's bracelet. Her favorite bracelet. Becoming your father. It's the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but... I was still blind. She even know that she actually has her mom's, her real mom's bracelet. This all feels like someone else's life. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. However much she loved you then, mm -hmm. it wasn't enough. You see the needle on the floor. For Sarah, the, junkie. the need to escape was always there. Over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. She could still be a good person and do that drugs. No matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. 
that she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Mm. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Okay. Mm. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're gonna make it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't, but you were amazing. Without you, there would have been no show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Um. I, I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I think the dad was um, in the right as far as taking Rachel away from the mom when she's in that state. But as for him now, like, keeping Rachel away from to see her mom when she knows that her mom is clean and doing better. Like, even with the whole money situation, it's, it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to deal with say anything about I don't know my parents they both they well both my parents drank and one of them did drugs they did both did drugs when they were younger but as far as when I got older, one of my parents had 
had done Rachel drugs. Rachel took that and... pretty hard. I should see if she's okay. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is was a never known associate like... of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. Close when that happened, but I'm like super Rachel close only to the knew half now. the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? I I think there was a time to where when I was little that my grandma had taken me away from my parents because they were doing Holy that shit. stuff. Rachel completely destroyed that table. But if I was to find out, like. I don't know. I don't know what I'm just trying to say. I'm going to shut up. I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. But people, people can change, basically. You know, it's not that guy's decision to whether Rachel should stay away from her mom. It should be her own decision. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point. Considering everything. Okay. Rose. Do you need any help with... anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway. Door to the left of the fridge. Hey, cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this? Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. I believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. Um, here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad too. You've had to cope with much worse. I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. Mm. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. It doesn't matter how painful it is. You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right. But can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know but I'm inclined to trust my husband. 
His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Rose is so calm. Not like Rachel at all, really. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. I should... Uh, um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. <laughs> I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Okay. I'm depending on you to keep Rachel safe, Chloe. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Whoa, the light just turned on by itself. Um, before we get far into it, let me read some of our journals. Okay, I think uh, the last one we read was that one, I think. Max, just when I thought this day couldn't get any more dramatic, let's back up. Did you really think I would let Rachel miss the play? No chance. I mind fucked Victoria into realizing she wanted nothing to do with the stage. It was truly some of my finest work. Sadly, the drama doesn't end there for me. Stupid Juliet got caught in the stupid fire and now I... Now I... 
Let's just say that there is exactly one person in the world who could make me dress up fancy costume and act out Shakespeare in front of an audience of my least favorite people. She, and she happened to be the next to me at exactly the wrong moment. Chloe, the FML. Max, so I survived just in case you were wondering if you were worried about me and totally weren't. You totally weren't. But it wasn't easy. I had to remember what to say and where to go and not to flip off everybody in the audience. Not to lie, I totally killed it. Once it got past the stupid makeup and the blinding lights, I just let myself get lost in it all. I guess acting is all about forgetting the rest of the world exists and being completely in the moment. When I'm with Rachel, somehow it becomes easy. We ended up creating a new story together on a stage, much better, a much better story, because this one ends with two of us escaping the island and sailing off to the sunset together. Take that, Shakespeare. Will, will real life turn out so awesome? Time will tell. Chloe, the baddest bitch in town. Artist. Bardist. Oh wait, um, 510, oh, 58, 5, 58. 5, Time has told, no, and no, it turns out that real life is not like a stage. It is so much better. We're leaving tonight. Boom, peace out, Arcadia Bay. We're headed to New York, home of greasy pizza hipster bloggers, and who cares? All that matters is not here. I didn't believe Rachel at first. It's not that I don't trust her, but she tends to get swept away in the moment. Let's just say she erased all doubts. What you, what you need to draw, what you need to draw a map. We kissed as awesome as you can imagine. Kissing Rachel Amber sounds. Believe me, it was a bajillion times awesomer. After a quick stop by Rachel's house, we're heading off. Next time you hear from me, I'll be on X Arcadian, just like you, Chloe. So much better. Max, I used to think that the strangest thing about the Ambers was how normal they were. They seemed like a bad 90s sitcom family, and I did my best to play the part of the wacky yet lovable best friend. Yes, I did tag a newspaper on the of James in the fridge, but only because his face looked so stupid. The goal was to get in and out of there without causing a scene so we could make our escape. It turns out Rachel couldn't sit back and let her cheating father act all high and mighty. I tried to distract her and rem remind her of our goal. It almost worked. Then Rachel snapped. I guess she just can't stand the line anymore. She told her mom about James making out with that woman. Everyone started yelling and the next thing I knew, Rachel was aging full of destruction, was going full of destruction on the table. So that's when the truth finally came out. Rachel's mom equals not her mom. Rachel's real mom equals make out, make out woman. Mind blown. Chloe the wacky lovable. Okay. Oh, my neck hurts. Shit, do we got the tag up on here this time? No, I never remember these. Um, okay. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Well, I'll remember you are love before all else be armed, Machiavelli. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Let us think the unthinkable, let us do the undoable, let us prepare to grapple with and with these possible, stuff is possible, the beginning is always today, let us think the unthinkable, let us do the undoable, let us prepare to grapple with the ineffable itself and see what, and see if we may not, if at all after. But I should win leave the jury will be hung, seeking for your fair utopia, which per change, per change may not find. Kiss me, Kate, at the promenade once upon a time. They were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. 
Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. No matter if it's after curfew. Um, I can't right now. Please. <sighs> I could get grades like this. <laughs> I just don't want to. Yeah, drama, biology, 20th century, the American experience, light and honors. Well, goodness. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. <laughs> Page 420, Puff Puff versus Pass. 500 words. <laughs> Hard to believe the show was only a few hours <clears throat> ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. At least she'll have something from tonight. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Willie. <clears throat> Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. I just realized that if they want to go all the way to New York, they are not going to have enough money to go, like, clear across the country. Unless they're like hitchhiking, I don't know. Maybe Crazy they kids. can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said... <laughs> it's cute. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes but it still seems hard to believe. Hmm. Do drugs together. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. 
Okay. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. This light needs more light. Mm, the flashlight. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Automatically the perfect fit like that would ever happen in life All ready for Rachel's light show better get her a t Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. She's still your mom. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why, never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone.
The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? No. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. Chloe is so in love with this girl. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. Wow. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? <sighs> After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. It's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. I'll be back. I'm gonna get something to eat real quick. Wait, let me watch this part first. Huh? Wait, let me get something to eat real quick. I know, I need to get my life more organized. Chaos. It's starting to get a little colder in California. Oh my goodness, my hair is crazy. It's like crazy in the back, I feel it sticking out.
think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Ew, creepy. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. <laughs> Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Oh, man. Dad. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic, floodlights, sound effects, Chloe, look at me, look at me sweetheart, it's going to be okay. These dreams of her are so, like, dark and sad. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever, 
I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Maybe, um... Price. It was Frank that was oh, in her room. Frank. <laughs> Eager much? Where's the money? So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet you in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... Asshole. <laughs> that went well. I guess. I'm thinking Frank already likes what Rachel. What am I getting myself into? Because as soon as, like, she said the girl from the mill is completely fine with helping, but I feel like if we would have said it meant a lot to us, it would have been like, fuck okay. off. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. For real? When's the last time we took a shower? Like, three days ago? <laughs> Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. I'm a good kisser. Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can tell us, get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house, just showering and grabbing tools for the truck. So meet at the junkyard. I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Chloe. Chloe. Still can't. I fucking believe that David went through my stuff. I think the drug guys were trying to find the money, so they went in the, like, snuck in and vandalized huh. her shit. Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Have I ever watered that? <laughs> uh, better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes I relate to Chloe. <clears throat> Sit and smoke. Hold on. Let's finish browsing. Stan Stanwick here, bringing you up to the minute coverage of stuff that's interesting. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should Sergeant update this Alex photo. With the Arcadia Bay Police Department to the show. Sergeant what do Keller, I want the record to show? Arcadia Bay is on the rise, is that right? Unfortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Heroin? You'd uh, think a small town like Arcadia Bay would be safe from things like that. Well, the problem is these drugs don't appeal to any exclusive demographic. All kinds of people get involved. Rich, poor, teens, a adults... A sudden and mysterious absence Does the of... ABPD have any leads on 
where the heroin's coming from? I can't discuss any ongoing investigations, but we are working closely with the district attorney's office to get to the bottom of it. Right on. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you. Figures. Winchester High School, Shore, 1989, each year Winchester High events at the Shore War, named after famous explorer Robert Fisher, the student who best was about to try and research. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Just in case you need more proof that Blackwell is better off without color priors, as well as girls take forever doing the bathroom, mad respect. I want to ask you, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe. That was classy. <laughs> A further layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. I noticed that in this game, Nathan, he gets uh, bullied a lot. And then on the other game, he's the one who is a bully. But now we see why that he became a bully because, you know, he was the one who was bullied before. And also his dad's a piece of shit, who's also a bully. You back was the Tempest takes Shakespeare by stone last night. The Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage, the unique and bold direction that Travis Keaton gave the show and updated Philip, typically acting from overdone plastic works. Stellar in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber commented up on the stage just prosper herself from Man's Unknown, where the special mention that Nathan Prescott's Caliban was promising young actors weak gangsters trembling in his direction. The slave monster added a further layer of nuisance story underappreciated by the teen crowd. How art an idiot. Get the real star tonight in the role of Ariel was newcomer Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Rachel Amber's Prosper surprised even out of Miranda and Ferdinand as she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty. Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance indeed when Prosper's reviews was Ariel's freedom and an excellent revision of the original script. I have never seen a more believable portrayal of a surprise and a surprise authentic astonishment. Five stars. Aww. Hang in there, Skip. An interview with Skip Matthews, Chris Hedrickman, Arcadia Bay Online News. Following the sudden popularity of your song, Nothing's Wrong, what's next with Chris Head? Well, at the moment, we're still taking things slowly, so we shouldn't hold our breath for a full Chris Head album on our hands and one day but for now i'm still working on my day job sometimes you have to do what you have to do in order to keep the dream alive even if it seems like it's holding you back hmm. so much <clears throat> has changed i wonder if you'd even recognize me now i was about to say i put them the music on for this moment. Nobody wants to sit in silence while they smoke. It's so weird to be home. Oh shoot. As much as this place sucks, at least it's not full of secrets. Nobody's hiding anything. Well, except me and my pot. And Everything with Rachel. But how could I possibly tell Mom what I'm up to? Whenever I'm honest with her, it just we just end up fighting. Does she just want me to pretend everything's fine? Maybe maybe I should try not to see her today. Favorite jacket. 
Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. Goes right along, Rachel Amber's a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're a little sidekick now. Yep. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. Rachel Amber, Rachel, Rachel, oh man. You're an awful person. And then everyone suddenly realizes that's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. Ugh. <sighs> Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. Gross. <laughs> Manly grip. I truly hate Seeing so much of David's shit around here. Lots of washcloths. No towel. No awesome pirate towel. blue hair dye. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Yeah. Captain Blue's hair dye. I Max forgot that she had her hair blue. A pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of yes, my life. Yes, I, I got used to hot water. Don't let me down. I got used to her just having brown hair. I didn't realize I just I didn't realize that like she had blue hair before. I totally spaced it out. Girl, you are naked. You never know if David is there. What do I feel like wearing on this easy ass day? Hell yeah! Dang! Look at her looking all good! Alright. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs.
Dang. Hey, girl. Hey. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. <laughs> hey. Who's there? Oh, geez. Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. <sighs> None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Piss off. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh! How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. Aww, so lame. if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. Okay, so it but wasn't Chloe, the drug dealers. I'd been able to trust you in the first place. 
I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're gonna regret it. Come here. Take a look at this. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. No. That was a nice little moment, though. What the hell? <laughs> Rice cereals. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop right there because my controller's gonna die pretty soon and I gotta start getting ready for the day. Oh shoot, I hit my lamp and um, yeah, so we shall continue this, the second part of this video. Hopefully, <laughs> I was gonna say hopefully I'll finish the next part in the next video, like the whole next part, but you never know because these episodes are usually pretty long, so yeah. Uh, if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I shall catch you guys next video. So, peace. Have a good day.